It's time to bring you yet another amazing episode. And now, welcome your host. Hello and welcome back. It's Thursday's quiz, the 10th of June 2021. 10 questions to answer. Here we go with the questions. Question number one. Which zoo is the home of the only giant panda living in the UK? Is it Chester Zoo, London Zoo, Bristol Zoo or Edinburgh Zoo? Question 2. How many shades of grey were there in E.L. James' novel? Was it 20, 70, 50 or 99? Question 3. What is Roget's word book known as? Is it dictionary, glossary, thesaurus or index? Question 4. Which David told his life story in The Moon's a Balloon? Is it David Bowie, David Beckham, Dave Davis or David Niven? Question 5. Rocks are broken down by the elements. By what gradual process? Compacting, erosion, gravity or weathering? Question 6. Which tenor took the title role of the great Caruso? Was it Jose Carrera, Placido Domingo, Mario Lanza or Lucio Pavarotti? Question 7. The word lupin, L-U-P-I-N-E or lupine, relates to which animals? Is it dogs, lions, wolves or rats? Question 8. Eccles cakes are historically from which country? Is it Derbyshire, Lancashire, Leicestershire or Westmoreland? Question 9. Which element is found in bones, shells and teeth? Calcium, Candominium, Californium or Carbon? And question 10. Who was elected Mayor of London in 2016? Was it Boris Johnson, Ken Livingstone Zach Goldstiff, Goldsmith or Sadiq Khan? Those were your questions for Thursday the 10th of June. We're now going to give you the answers from Wednesday the 9th of June. Here we go. And the answer to question number one is 500. The answer to question two is Harry Potter. The answer to question three is Hare. The answer to question four is William Wilberforce. The answer to question five is a red deer stag. The answer to question six is Great Yarmouth. The answer to question seven is yellow. The answer to question eight is wasps. The answer to question nine is four. And the answer to question ten is brass. And those were your answers for Wednesday the 9th of June. We're going to give you the answers for Thursday on Friday. Until then, thanks for listening. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.